Okay, so I got at Harbor Freight Fortress 26 gallon air compressor, 69 decibels it says, 175 PSI. So this is the one I've been using. Bought it I think in 1997 at Walmart for like 200 bucks. I've had to replace the regulator unit one time and now it'll drop to like 25 pounds PSI before it starts running again and I've adjusted it and all kinds of stuff and it's just it's old tanks full of rust the drain plug on the bottom's all broken off I don't know if you can see it but and it's super loud so it's time to get rid of it I think this was 420 bucks so we'll see what we got here Open it up. That's a knife I made out of a leaf spring. Got the instructions here. I'll just toss them in the fireplace. No, I'm kidding. I'll keep them. in the right spot to I'm supposed to leave this uh, on its base until you get the wheels put on it. On the box it says to leave the leave it on the base to get the wheels on. So, flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. It's a little bit awkward in there. This one I think is oilless. Oil free, yeah, so you don't gotta worry about oil.
of styrofoam everywhere. It looks like the wheels go a certain way. That side's in, that side's out. Looks like I just lucked out on the other one. Flat washer, lock washer, nut. Okay, so five eighths for down in there, and the one out here is three quarter. Box says it's a hundred pounds. I believe it. So you're gonna start this guy up now, I'll show you how loud it is. It's pretty annoying. And this one definitely has this little cord hose holder. These guys are just on here loose. Yeah, these ones are half inch. Ones on the other side are loose too. Heck knows that they don't rattle everywhere. says to run it for 30 minutes with the bottom valve open. So let's turn the power switch off. It's off. That's the power switch. Power switch off. Open the drain valve. This is a nice place for a drain valve. Plug in the power cord. Turn the switch to auto. You don't plug these into the wall or plug directly into the wall, not into extension cord. I burned one up years and years ago. Turn power switched on, let it run for 30 minutes. That'll be fun. Okay, let's uh, turn this one on. Hopefully, this one's quieter. Oh. Way quieter. Look at that.
a lot quieter. It'll go in the back room somewhere in the corner, so probably won't barely be able to hear it. So, okay, we'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay, that was 30 minutes. And turn it off, unplug the power cord, close the drain valve. I don't know why you'd unplug the power cord, but I'm not doing that. Close the drain valve. Okay, so the compressor is in the other room running. It's a lot quieter than the other one, that's for sure. I could not even hear it in the house in the front part of the garage with the door open. The old one I could hear in the house with the garage door closed in the back room. So, found a spot in the corner, plugged directly into power. Still not very loud. Been running for a couple minutes. I just got it set to 80 pounds. I like the quietness of it. Seems to run good. So we'll see how it goes. Let's give it the last 30 years like the other one. Thanks for watching. I'm outside. Can't even hear it.